here's a route that was created in four flight. I'm going to show you how to make sure you do this such that um, you can convert this and upload it into a Garmin G1000. There are some mistakes people make and I want to just uh, uh, kind of walk through some of those. So let's, uh, let's clear this out. So we're going to start uh, in Nampa. So I just go ahead and just type type in the airport identifier. That, that's easy. Uh, the next thing I wanted to do was to go to the Anderson Reservoir here and take a picture maybe of this dam. Uh, press and hold your finger on there. Notice that of the list of things that you can select, one of them happens to be Anderson Dam. Don't make the mistake of selecting that. Uh, the Garmin doesn't know what that is, and this label that gets put on that waypoint will confuse the Garmin and your import will fail. Select up here in the top, always choose that lat long. Now the next uh, place they went to in that route was uh, uh, Mormon Reservoir, which is right here. They wanted to take a picture of uh, that dam. So press and hold your finger there. And notice there is something there that's Mormon R, uh, a label that uh, they're giving you a, a choice. Don't make the mistake of choosing that. Again, choose the lat long up here. Then the next place they uh, went to was Sun Valley, which is uh, K-Sun. All right. And he may have made a... Uh, maybe an intermediate spot here, but let's just kind of do a direct route. The next place he ended up as far as an airport was U87, which is Smiley Creek right here. And then he came down to Atlanta. Now, I wasn't sure whether 55H, which is Atlanta, you can see there, I wasn't sure whether that was in the Garmin database. I thought that may have been one of these airports that don't uh, get listed. Um, if you come across an airport that's restricted, it's got an R or it's private like this one right, right here, uh, those are not going to be listed in uh, the Garmin database. So stay away from uh, trying to find a designator for those. Um, so he went over here to Atlanta, 55H. As it turns out, that is in the Garmin database and it'll convert just fine. Then from, from here, I think he hit an intermediate spot down here someplace on his way back to um, Cayman. But to simplify this process, uh, we'll just finish up with putting Cayman in from here and flying direct to there. So now here's your route. So... The next step you want to do is what's going to get entered in here as a uh, route name by default is going to be the beginning and ending waypoint. So this is going to get stored as K-Man to K-Man. Now you may have multiple K-Man to K-Man flights and have slightly different routes. So if you want to have a special name that's just for this one here. Uh, go to the star here and then type uh, uh, any kind of a name you want, a special route or something like that. Any name you want just to make it unique and then save it. And now upload it uh, with the share button here. We're going to do a share FPL file. And for this video here, we're going to just save it. And... Um, on another video, I show you how to save this to your SD card so that that SD card then can be put inside of the uh, Garmin G1000 after it's converted with my program. So the default name for this file is going to be ForeFlight. You're going to want to change that. Uh, call it uh, whatever you want. Again, just so you, when you have... Um, more than one of these uh, FPL files 
uh, stored or saved, uh, you're not going to have a bunch of them that are variations of ForeFlight. Uh, you can type in your name and then save it. So now, uh, this route right here, because I chose latitude, longitude, and created user waypoints here from within ForeFlight, this route is going to convert and upload properly into the Garmin.